day three water fast. So I'm making a video because um, it's day three. And today I didn't have the extreme migraine like I usually do on day three. Because this time I transitioned properly. Um, last time I went from eating raw gourmet into the water fast and that was not a good experience. Day three it was a nightmare and I had a migraine and all that. So this time I was on um, mostly fruit. I had some avocados. Like if you look at my day zero video you can see what I did to prepare for the fast. I did end up cheating and ate a few nuts the night before the fast but um, I was very mindful about it and I was worried about it and I didn't want to have a headache today so um, I was very concerned about day three because if you don't transition properly by the time you hit day three you're gonna have a migraine you're gonna be on the couch with the blanket over your head and you're not gonna want to do anything you're not going to be able to do anything so it all depends on um, how you transition transition properly is huge so, um, I did transition properly this time, and, um, so, um, last night, though, was very hard. Day two was a nightmare. I was negotiating with myself, and everything was, um, making excuses of why it's okay to eat, and, um, coming up with all kinds of things to eat uh, my pistachio addiction is really taking over my life <laughs> but let me tell you that's as bad as it gets now and that's pretty damn good because it used to be french fries and mayonnaise it used to be pizza burritos and all that good stuff but now the worst thing that I I go to is the pistachios so that's what I like I like my pistachios my dates and my orange juice that's my favorite trio and I could totally live on that no problem every day for the rest of my life I wouldn't even mind I wouldn't cry I wouldn't bat an eyelash at that I'd be like, okay sign me up I'm down but um that's not the healthy way I mean it's healthy if you're healthy it's okay to eat that way uh, I mean, it's fruit, you know, but I'm trying to go the higher levels, you know, like if you go on my website, higherleveldetox.com and look at the levels on the recipe page and see the higher levels, that's, uh, that's where I want to be and um, the secret levels is, is a good spot to be and I'm there quite often. So, um, anyway, so day three is pretty good. I'm not suffering. Tomorrow is going to be even better. We know this. Um, I wanted to talk about my weight loss, so today I weighed myself. Um, oh, yeah, so, okay, so look at this day one shit. Okay, I was 198 pounds, was it? Or 197, 197? And um, right, right under 198, I think. Anyways, I, I got the video, day one video, showing the weight and then um, what I lost overnight on the water fast. And then day two, I did the same thing. Oh, wait, I did it on Watermelon Island. So if you go to a Facebook group, Watermelon Island, and then you can see those videos. I don't know if I posted them on, on YouTube, but today I weighed myself and it was 93, I believe it was 93. Was it 93? Now I don't remember if it was 93 or 94. Wait a minute. 97 down to... Who knows. But anyways, yeah, I think it was 93 today. So, I mean, this is what I wanted to talk about. How long has it been? You know what I mean? This has been going on for, for years. <laughs> so, I'd be at 200 pounds. Fast. Get down to 190-something. Uh, popo. And then, um... I would fast, and then I would get down to like say 193, and then I would go eat a salad, and then bam, 198, and then I eat another salad, bam, 200. It just keeps going, you know what I mean? Like, it's horrible. I, I mean, I haven't eaten anything bad. All I've had, like, the, like I said, the worst thing I've had was some nuts and stuff. So, but anyways, I haven't had cooked food since Christmas, 
and I would never eat cooked food again as long as I live. And so, uh, talking about the square one dance, man. You know, you, you can just keep going back to square one. I know I'm still regenerating. I see the eye pictures, I'm doing a good job still, but um, you can't stay on the raw gourmet and expect to get the results. You know, the, the nuts are high in protein and they're gonna whoop your ass. And if you start realizing, paying attention to the nuts, man, that you feel it immediately, it hurts. Eat some nuts and then bam, you're like, oh man, I wasn't hurting until I ate the nuts. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, the nuts, they're immediately, they hurt. And then we don't have the enzymes to break down the nuts. I mean, look at it. If you chew some nuts and go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, you're going to have the nut fragments in your mouth. So it um, shows that we don't have the enzymes to break down the protein in our mouth anyways. Yeah, you do in your stomach, but uh, not in our mouth. And that's where digestion begins with the amylase enzymes in the mouth, baby. So... That's because we're designed to eat carbs, fruits, baby. So, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to explain about the weight loss and how how long I've been, like, you know, I should be skinny. But, you know, it's just crazy to play this game, the square one dance. So, what do I do? I got to fast until I'm skinny and then I can eat a salad? You know what I mean? It, it's just crazy. Like, I've been playing this game for so long tired of playing it so this time I'm trying to do is trying to go long enough to where well really my goal right now is to lose weight because I have a party coming up on April 12th and I want to look good and um, the only way I'm gonna have a chance at fitting into anything decent to wear is if I starve myself to death basically that's the life I've chosen you know it's no fun, man, being me. It's not a fun, it's not a fun ride. I'm starving. I am so hungry. Like, nobody even knows. I am so hungry. I want to eat. Everybody else is eating. Why can't I? Why do I have to always starve myself? You know, it's bullshit. But I have this problem with my organs and glands, and so I have to regenerate them. But once everything's fixed up... Ooh, I'm gonna feel so good, but I mean I already feel good. I feel amazing. I really do. I feel a lot better I still get issues with my knee and my back, but I'm regenerating them and I'm working on it. Man, I'm doing the work But I'm gonna have to end this video so I can put my seatbelt on I hate to die and not be able to post this video For nobody to watch it anyway, but if you are watching Subscribe to my channel follow my journey and see where I go with it. Who knows? I know I know where I'm going. Check out my regeneration video. Uh, the one I made, it says proof video showing how you can regenerate your body on a raw food diet. So I think that's a pretty amazing video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you get a chance.